so he will fire away. Missoula up against Jackson. And a steal by Mitchell. Mitchell in the corner for three. And that's what length and athleticism, athleticism gets you. Defensive stops that create offense. A timeout taken by Notre Dame. It's a two-point game with 5.31 to go. Advantage defensively. Heron Gody all the way in the backcourt to get that inbounds pass. Right now, Notre Dame needs to be patient. Try to find Heron Gody for an offensive opportunity. You have to go to your go-to player. And Jennings just shoves Heron Gody to the floor. And Globes, Oscars, <laughs> what, what, what's going on there? What's he up for? Let's roll out the red carpet. We got the red carpet out. Has not made a field goal in the last nine minutes and 34 seconds. But Justin, you talk about them not making a field goal. The good thing was Heron Goldie and Hansborough being aggressive and getting to the free throw line. A timeout taken by Bob Huggins. Missoula to inbound. 5.05 to go here in the second half. Four-point game. Switching it up again. Back to a 2-3 zone for Notre Dame. The freshman hits the three. Dalton Pepper brings it to within one. Coach Huggins has in solid minutes from Pepper, solid minutes from Jennings. These guys are producing down the stretch. An air ball by Heron Goat. He thought he was hit again. West Virginia, a chance for the lead. Butler, three from the corner. And a weak side rebound by Tim Abramitis. Look at that. No field goals in the last 10 plus minutes for Notre Dame. Talk about stepping up defensively. That's what West Virginia has done. Heron Goody on the block. That snaps the field goal trap. That's a former Big East player of the year, All-American candidate, go-to guy, solid player who delivers when you give him the ball. We thought it'd be a good one. It's turned out to a great one. This game has turned into an exciting game. Pepper, the heat check. That may have not been the smartest move. Might not have been the smartest shot. I understand the Pepper's taking that shot as a freshman. He had just knocked down a three. It's still a lot of time on the clock. And again, patience on offense. Missoula. They've got the foul against Missoula. And the best motivation that a coach can give at halftime. Jackson makes it. Misses the second. Missoula chases down the loose ball. Don't forget, coming up next, number 18, Gonzaga against Portland on the WCC showdown. Butler open top of the key, and that's a blocking foul against Tyrone Nash. West Virginia is taking a lot of jump shots. That's why they're free throw. Butler off the inbound, a quick jumper. Hansborough with another rebound. He's got nine rebounds in the game to go along with ten assists and six points. Truck Bryant back in, playing with four fouls. Heron Goody. And a foul would be going against Joe Mazzula. Did what he had to do in that situation. Nash is off in the first free throw. Looking into your go-to guy, Butler, and getting an aggressive offensive opportunity. Nash misses both. A big opportunity now for West Virginia to get back to within two, maybe even one. If you know the name, know who they're going to. Butler posting up. Double teams. Turnaround jumper. Jackson forced a difficult shot. If you're Mike Bray, you're happy about that possession. Jackson forcing Butler to take a fadeaway jump shot on the block. Coming up on two minutes to go. Oh. 
Shot clock down to 10. And a timeout taken by Mike Bray. It's now a four point lead. Added a timeout. Shot clock down to eight. Hansborough with the ball. Aaron Gody posting up. Shot clock at three. Jackson fires away from three. And a big rebound by Tyrone Nash. Fresh 35. Tyrone Nash is a utility guy for this Notre Dame team. He comes up with big plays like that defensively rebounds. Missoula saves it but gives it right back to Aphromitis. They reset the 35. Jackson's three again. Heron Goaty, offensive foul. Over the back, his second. Crowd on its feet. Right now, West Virginia is going to try to find Butler isolated down there against Jackson. Butler had the isolation. You can hear Bob Huggins on four full shot clock at 10. Missoula off the glass, got it to go. And that's just toughness right there. That's a guy who you know can't shoot the ball, but still manages to get in there, draw contact, and finish. Just mental and physical toughness. Don't have to foul. Two-point game. About a 16-second differential shot clock to game clock and a timeout taken by Jackson. That is the last timeout for Notre Dame. Should be penetration to get fouled because West Virginia has 10 fouls and in the bonus. Aaron Goaty trying to get it to Hansborough. Shot clock at nine. Missoula with four fouls. Hansborough off the glass. Rebound to Smith. 20 seconds. Does Huggins call timeout or let them play? And Huggins calls timeout. You have to all be on the same page. Into the hands of Truck Bryant. Back to Missoula. And they foul Missoula with 8.2. Throw line. It's a tough call. You play solid defense right here. Butler trying for his third game winner. Notre Dame wins it. Well, they got the ball into the guy that they needed to get the ball in the hands. Butler getting a shot, a contested three. He's knocked down some game winning shots of recently, but that one didn't fall. Rolled around the rim. Almost a close basket. Butler almost coming up as a hero again with a game-winning shot. Got forced into taking a shot with the last second. Didn't really have too much time for the offensive rebound. Excellent defense by Torrey Jackson. Contested three. Not enough time on offensive rebound. Hands on those guys tying the ball up. A big win for Notre Dame against the number eight West Virginia.